What's up guys, I'm Ryan Maker from RC Maker and today I'm going to introduce you a brand new product. It's our Geocarbon HD weighted tweak wheel set. Check it out. So guys, first off, I'm going to share a little bit about um, how these tweak wheels are constructed. So basically we start off with a three millimeter carbon wheel that we've machined. It's countersink on one side uh, for the screw hole. We've also machined a 2.5 millimeter brass weight as well with a little laser engraved logo on each one. We also have a custom made nut, so a black knurled nut. This is really nice and easy to grab onto and that is then Loctited onto the bearing and obviously with special care made to ensure the bearing is still free. Um, so these stay permanently in the bearings all the time. Then we've actually press fitted the bearing into the wheel um, so it's not going anywhere. Uh, so the nut is attached to the bearing, the bearing is attached to the wheel um, and this also ensures like a really play free system as well so it's got minimal slop. Then using a 3x4 millimeter steel gold plated screw um, we locate the weight inside the carbon like that, put the screw in from the back, and then that's how you have, you then have your weighted tweak wheel. And what this does is that offsetting the weight means that when, when you lift this off and release any friction from the wheel, the wheel's gonna spin because it's on a bearing attached to the axle. Uh, so as soon as this wheel lifts off the ground, the, the wheel's gonna spin. And basically the way that we can use that is to help detweak the car. Normally it's very difficult when detweaking the car to see which wheel's coming up first. You often have to get down and low so you can see which wheel's coming off the ground first. Uh, but this way it makes it super easy. You can literally screw all these on, flip them front to back, um, and yeah, you'll be on your way. So we have the A-frame rears, which basically stay stable, and they allow you to work just on the front without anything rolling around or anything like that. So these hold the car nice and stable while you're working on the front to do the tweak. So essentially when the front wheels are on, you're doing the tweak at the back, and when the, you swap these wheels around, you've got the A-ones on the front, which are fixed, and then you're moving these ones to the back. Um, then you're going to be working on the front. So it's basically the opposite like you guys know. So I'll show you how these work. Firstly, we give the car, get the car settled. Make sure you've done your droop and everything first and also that your chassis is flat. That's very important um, when you're detweaking with this method. So we want to grab the bumper exactly in the middle at the front and lift up. And now we're going to, now we're going to be watching which wheel uh, lifts off first. And you'll see the wheel that lifts off first is going to spin because the, the friction is going to be removed from the ground. So we'll pick it up. There you go, you can see this wheel's moved first, so we reset it. Now what we need to do, because this wheel's moved first, it means we need to lower this side of the car. So we need to unscrew this collar and screw in this collar. That's then gonna flatten the car back out. Do the same process again, make sure you're grabbing right in the middle. You can see this one's still coming off early. So we do exactly the same thing, a little bit more. Unscrew screw in and just keep working your way up in about half turn. Um, it's gonna make a big difference. You won't have to go a full turn probably on your shot collars. Try again. Still see it's doing it. So let's go a little bit more. Now, see we got this, they're both moving at the same time now. So let's reset that. What you have to do, just pick it up so that the weights are out vertical again. It slides nice quite easily under your setup board, so you don't need to lift the car up. You can just pick it up and slide it straight back to horizontal again. Let's try that again, just to confirm. See, this one's a touch early still. So this is so accurate, like it's ridiculously accurate. It's way ac more accurate than any other system because you can see which one's coming off. Even just like 0.1 of a millimeter, you can see which one's gonna spin first. So let's do a little bit of the same thing. Don't get me wrong, you can spend hours on this trying to get it right. You don't need to get it exact, but what we had is basically good enough, but let's try and get it exactly perfect. So let's go again. Now you can see it's gone back the other way. So we were really in the sweet spot then. Um, so now we go back the other way. So that's about as close as you're gonna get them. There you go, so that's, that's basically perfect. So guys, you can see how, how nice this is. It's perfectly free. Um, they spin really easily with no resistance at all. And this is gonna tell you every time if your tweak's out or not. So all you do to do the other end is you're gonna flip these to the back. It doesn't matter which way the wheel's facing, as long as it works for you and you can see it's spinning, um, that's exactly how you want it to, to be. So guys, just repeat this process if you wanna flip them around and do the, obviously the other end as well. So we're gonna move these to the back, then move these to the front. Um, and that way you can get, you can then start working on your front collars as well. So then you're gonna tweak the car front and rear. 
and that way you'll get your tweak perfect every single time. So guys, I hope you like this video. I hope these wheels make it very useful um, and easy for you to do your tweak. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, email me, ryan at rcmaker.com.au or contact us on Facebook. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers.